everybody. Well, we are in week four. And this week, I wanted to create a little program where if you had to stretch after another workout or prep for a workout, you would have some options. So this program today is core and a stretch series. We always need our core. We, our core is affiliated with everything pretty much that we do. Uh, so we're gonna start with that. And then I'm gonna show you about three to four variations of stretch options to hopefully help you open up your back, your hips, um, and your shoulder blades possibly as well. So let's begin. Uh, we're gonna start with what you're familiar with, which is our roll up, roll down, and also go into our abdominal series. So you're stretching up into a tabletop position or 90 degree angle with your body. You're gonna press down into your shoulder blades, take a deep breath, inhale, flexing the feet, exhale, roll down. I'm gonna pull those low abs in, go low back, middle back, trying to get every vertebrae reaching and inhale, exhale, blow out, close the ribs, squeeze in those lower abdominals and reach toward your toes in a C curve. Inhale, exhale, pull the abs in, rolling up through your core, placing the vertebrae, hold, reach up, inhale, tabletop, exhale, roll down, low abs, try to get low back, middle back, and all the way, inhale, exhale, rounding, Squeezing, low abdominals, reaching, reaching, reaching. Inhale, exhale, squeeze your abs, rolling up. Long spine, one more inhale, exhale, rolling up. Low back, all the way down. Inhale, exhale, press your arms down by your side. Okay, so pressing down to the shoulder blades, we're gonna go into our hundreds. Okay, so you're gonna inhale, exhale, rounding chin for chest, squeeze the abdominals, lift your feet about two inches off the floor. Pumping for hundreds, and inhale, two, three, your head. Awesome. So that gets our blood pumping. Yes? I'm going to scoot down. Hopefully you can see me here. We're going to go straight into single, single leg series. Do one set slow, then one set quick. Okay? We're going to go from single leg series to scissors to, uh, let's go into knee tucks or knee lifts, and then we're going to go into little twists. Shall we? So take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Round your shoulder blades forward. So you're lifting up into those ribs and your low abs are pointing toward the floor. Right knee in, left leg straight. You're gonna inhale, two. Squeeze the knees into the tabletop. Exhale, blow out, pull the left knee in. Inhale, right knee, exhale. Inhale, switch, exhale, left knee. Inhale, tabletop, exhale. Go to tabletop. Inhale, exhale. Keep going. Two more, press the blades on if you can, and one, quick switches, and one, and two. What I do for the quick ones is I inhale one leg, exhale the other, inhale, exhale, four, three, two, one. Pull the right leg up, pull, pull your body forward, push your shoulder blades down, we're going to pull toward the nose, lengthening, inhale two beats. Switch, so you're gonna touch your knees and ankles. Grab that left leg, pull. Inhale, exhale, right leg. Inhale, switch, exhale, left leg. Inhale, exhale, right, pull. So you're really pulling to the ceiling, that leg that's toward you. Switching, and then the bottom leg is extending toward the opposite wall. Inhale, exhale. Couple more. And one. Now we're gonna go quick ones. Inhale, one leg, exhale, the other. Right leg, one, switch, two, and one, switch, two, and three, and four. Make sure you pull the abs in. Five, and six, and seven, 
and eight and nine and ten and rest. Okay, I feel it. Good, 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 good. Okay, tiny little hip stretch. Like I said, we're gonna do a really extensive stretch series. So let's incorporate that now. So we're gonna bring our left ankle in over the knee. Pull the right knee in toward the chest. So that's your pretzel stretch. Just try to relax on that for a second. Right, remember that ankle is crossed over the knee. Right, okay, so it's like a little tabletop almost. And you're gonna circle your right knee and then bring it into the chest. And two. So pull in the right knee on your exhale. And three, circle it around, then pull into the chest again. Okay, switch. So you get a right ankle over your left knee, pull the left knee into the chest, Ooh, and tighten on this side. And we're gonna circle the left knee, and then in. Make sure you're not doing an ankle circle, you're doing a knee circle. And inhale, exhale. Pulling into the chest, try to get into that right hip a little further. If you wanna get that hip to pull more, that right hip, duck tail. If you want that even more of a stretch, you're gonna push your knee away, but we didn't do that on the other side, so we'll just keep it as it is. Okay, bring that down, both feet down. You're gonna cross your left leg over your right, bring your arms out to a T, you're gonna cross the knees to the floor. Yes, my side is tight. So try to press your opposite left shoulder to the floor. A lot of you guys pop that shoulder off the floor, so press your shoulder blade. Just trying to stretch that chest, try to relax the neck. Come back to center, cross your right leg over the left. You're gonna push both knees to the left and toward the floor. Think of your hip bone going over the other one. Stretching out your opposite arm, try to bring your blade back, right? Not forward, but back and down. Back to center. Okay, from here, let's go into our knee tucks. So you're gonna square off your hips. Legs go into tabletop. You can go either knee shoulder width apart or together. Okay, so arms down by your side. Keep the collarbones open. Pressing the shoulder blades. We're gonna go into, like I said, that tabletop. You're gonna think the knee is pulling toward your shoulders, but low abs and tailbone curling up. So inhale, exhale. Punch the wabs in tight toward the floor as you pull the, the uh, tailbone up. So you're gonna inhale, exhale, punch, up, and three, up, four, up, five, six, and seven, keep going, two more, and one, bringing the knees together. Now we're gonna go in toward the uh, chest and then over to your right shoulder. Back into tabletop, then up with the tailbone over to the left shoulder. So pivoting. Inhale, exhale. Punch the abs in first. To the right shoulder, one. Then back into squaring off. Squeezing. Two. And then center. Three. Four. Like a real small. Five. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, awesome, keeping the knees squeezing. We're gonna do one more set, knees toward the chest. Ready, tuck your butt, lift it up, and one, center, two, it's a little tail curl, three, your tailbone's lifting, four, if you can't lift it, just squeeze your little abdominals, so you can do a little tiny lift, and a couple more, two more, and one. Notice I didn't go all the way over, I want you to not Swing with the legs. I want you to just nice and controlled. Tiny little lifts is more effective than swinging your legs over. Awesome. Okay, so now rest. From there, let's go into double leg series. I told you it's a bit of core and then our stretch series. Going to tabletop, inhale. On your exhale, push the shins into the hands, rounding your spine forward. 
okay? From here, we're gonna stretch the legs and arms about 45 degrees. You're gonna circle the arms around, pull the knees in toward the nose. So you're gonna inhale, reach, circle. Three, circle. Four, circle, pull the knees all the way in. Five, six, couple more. Seven, eight, notice my head's not dropping back. Nine, keep the head up. 10, and rest for a second, awesome. Hug underneath the knees, we're gonna rock just a little bit. If you need to rock back and forth and get that back to stretch, go ahead and do so. Your small little roll like a ball, okay? And then we're gonna go into the last one for core, rolling down, let's go into our twist. Squeezing the inner thighs really tight, hands behind the head. We're gonna go, really focus on the abs crunching, your elbow pulling into the knees. So we're gonna go to the right knee, and go in one, two. Do 10 slow, 10 quick, switch, one, two. Inhale, one, two, exhale. And three, and four. Think of your shoulder maybe going toward the knee. Five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. Ready for your quick ones, 10. Go to the center, look at your knee bone. You're gonna go right to the knee, try to take your elbow to the knee too. And, and three, and four, and five, and tag your knee, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, and rest. Hi, I feel it, guys. Hope you do too. <laughs> we need it because we've been sitting around too much. This quarantine is crazy. Okay, so let's go into our stretch series. So you're gonna rock forward, okay? I'm gonna teach you something that has been, I feel like with my past um, uh, various stretches, some of it is Pilates and some of it is affiliated with um, oh, dance shows and all kinds of other things. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go into all fours, knees, and length of the hips, hands, and length of the shoulders. Okay, so you're going to put your toes underneath. Let's go ahead and press the knees up and we go into a plank position. From here, you're just going to rock forward into the lats for a moment. Press back into the heels. Rock forward, press into the lats. Okay, and then press back into the heels. A couple more. Pressing into the lats. Press into the heels. So notice I'm going forward, and then I'm going back. Okay, from here, I'm gonna bring my right foot in between my hands. Just do what you can, okay? So you're gonna try to get your knee in line with your ankle, squaring off the hips. I call this runner stretch. You're gonna bring your hand in the inside of the knee, just place it next to your ankle on the floor, press the hips down toward the floor. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, a lot of our weight is in our hip area. You're gonna press down into the hip area. Okay, next part, you're gonna walk your back leg in just a slight bit, right? And you're gonna press your hips up to the ceiling. Drawing your head down toward your shin. Okay, so when you do this, you wanna try to square up your hips. Most of the time, we hike that hip up, the outside hip with the front leg. So what I do is I think I'm bringing that back. Hanging out, stretching. Okay, and then you're gonna go back to the floor. So inside to the ankle, this hand to the ankle, and back to the floor. You're going into your 90 degree angle, pressing the hips down to the floor. And rock back and forth if you want. You're just holding, stretching that back leg as well. And then step back in and press your right head, your right head, your head to your right leg, down toward the floor. This hip, you can bring it back. We're gonna turn out. Or straight. One more, and down to the floor. Okay, push into that knee if you're really flexible. And back up. Okay, from here, switch legs and go left foot forward, right foot back, going into your lunge. So left leg is 90 degrees, you're gonna just hold there. I tell you what, I really feel my hip flexor. <laughs> Okay, step in and head toward your left leg. Bring the left hip back. And to the floor, right leg back, square off. Right hip 
of stretching and step back in and back to hips up. One more and hold. And back up. Okay, from here, we're gonna go ahead and bring the left knee in between the hands. So it's your pigeon stretch. You're gonna bring that right leg all the way down. So when you do stretches, really you kind of want to be in a relaxed state, even though it kind of hurts. Okay, so you're just going to work with those hips again like we did it in one of the other uh, classes. And, you know, go where you're ready. You can press into your right hip, left hip, rock it over. But we're trying to open up that left hip a little bit further. Okay. Just a couple minutes here. Okay. Then after that, you're gonna bring this right knee in, right, kind of like a little, uh, actually I don't know what you call that. You're just bringing your back knee in and you're gonna extend that left leg forward. So you're kind of like a herky, I guess, is what that is. Or uh, you know, it makes me think of track where they're jumping the, the hurdles. Okay, so bring your body down now toward your left leg. Again, you know, you may only be able to stretch here, but just work toward it, okay? So this is the kind of thing you could do once you learn the sequence. You could do it while you're watching TV. I have, I've told some of you guys this, but I had a professor tell me anyone can get more flexible. You just have to be consistent. So you just sit there, you just sit there, watch TV or whatever it is that you're doing in the evening to where you relax and you just hang out, read a book like this. How about that? <laughs> okay. All right, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and bring the hands back and you're gonna push back up into this quad. Now, you might be only to here, but if you're more flexible, you can go back under your elbows. If that's, you know, fine, you can aim toward the floor. So that's all about this leg. For deeper stretch, you can push your hip toward the ceiling and then back. Toward the ceiling and back. So, but like I said, you might be only here and you can still push that hip up or forward and then back. What that does is that loosens up the hip flexor in here. Okay, and what that does is it opens up that hip flexor, you know, wraps all the way around to the back. So if you're having to do some really tough stuff, you know, if you're doing martial arts or crazy kicks, then you need it opened up. Okay, so I like to go through my second position. So look, you might be here right? Might be just this tiny little space, but the key is squaring off your hips. So to start, you're going to just lean into that left leg, bring it, I brought it forward by the way. So you're going to lean in that left leg, okay? If you want more of a stretch, you're going to work toward extending back a little bit. And so what I do to really open up that socket is I'll lean forward and I'll lean back, which feels good to me, but anyway. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the middle. So both legs are out to the sides. Okay? So you could go forward, right? You may be just here. But work on pushing your knees back, grounding your hips, right? Okay, so go to where you are and you're just gonna bring your body down or you might be just here, you might be here, doesn't matter. Just lift up in your low back and think of reaching out to the front wall in front of you, okay? So you might be here, you might be here, okay? All right, so also what I do, and I remember teaching Millie this, but I bring my knee up and I rotate my leg back. In fact, let me teach you that. That is another way to open up this socket. It's a little trick. So what you do, let's do one leg at a time. We're gonna go knee up, rotate that thigh back. It's like you're wrapping your muscles to the back wall. So you're gonna push down through your butt, through the back side, that's where that butt bone is, down to the back of the leg down. So let's do three. You're gonna lighten the hamstring here. Notice there's a little space. You're gonna rotate back, push down into that left leg and lean into it. Okay, one more. You're gonna go up, back, down to the back of the wing of the leg and reach. Okay, so that's one way to get that to rotate and open up. Stretch over the side. We'll go back to the middle in a minute. Let's do three circles. You're gonna circle the arm around and over. Here's your little side stretch. 
and two, and three, good, and reaching up. All right, so let's do the other side and then we'll go back to the middle. This leg, we're gonna go knee up, rotate back. Notice I'm flexing my foot, and I'm gonna press down into some of my hip, through the back of the leg, and plank. Good, again, okay, so you're gonna go knee up, Rotate back, press and extend. So you go, you're trying to go further every time. I'm cheating a little bit, but knee up, back, back, and press. So you're really opening up these hips, okay? You can lean into it, lean and face your leg if you want. All right, so let's hold that. And now we're gonna go back to the center. Okay, so I'm gonna reach. If that's Fine for you, you can also do martial arts style, which is your forward, almost like with your feet turned in is how the uh, martial artists do it. But dancers don't do that, right? We turn out. Anyhow, and now you're gonna go to your right leg and let's turn this way, okay? So let's bring this knee in, back left knee, and now we're back to kind of going the other direction in a reverse form. Okay, from here, let's bring this back in a little further. We're gonna go into that quad stretch and hip flexor stretch. Go to the elbows to the floor. Ow! I always get tight my hip flexors and my quads. So, for those of you who are up at this point, right, you can push your hip forward and down to the floor. So we go forward and back. So, if those of you who wanna go further, pick your zone, your angle. And you just hold, you get that crazy part to stretch. Just feel it from your knee all the way up to your hip. But you know, don't injure yourself, just do what you can. So sometimes what I do when I'm stretching is I imagine the muscles pulling away from the bone, like they're pulling apart like a rubber band. And that starts to get it to elongate further and then find the release. And then back up. So, you want to try a full stretch. Just kidding, you don't have to. Okay, so let's go to pitch on this side, right knee bending. That left leg is back here. We're just going to press into the right hip. So you're going left hip to the floor, right hip to the floor. Remember that's that one where the knee is in the middle of the mat. So you're going to go over to that left hip and over to the right. Anyway, these are all ways that I get my legs to really stretch. So like if I have to do, like I said, if I have to do some really crazy kicks after all of that, then I'll work on going into my opposite sides. Okay, so anyway, that's how you do that. Okay, so bring your feet here. Let's go into a little diamond stretch. We're gonna pull the chest up, go into flat back, pushing forward, round your head toward your toes. Okay, now we're gonna go to C-curve. Squeeze your abdominals. You're tightening your lower abdominals, rolling up and lift up your heart. Inhale, flat back forward, exhale round. When I round, I push my knees to the floor. Squeeze and tighten your abdominals here, right? Rolling up one more. Let's lift up the chest, inhale, extending forward, flat back, like your sternum is pulling toward, toward the front wall, and round. And rolling up. Awesome. Let's get into the shoulder blades for a little minute. Extend your left leg. Cross your right leg over the knee. And reach that opposite arm. So my left arm is reaching toward you. You're going to cross it in front of that knee. Push that shoulder blade. Woo, I'm tight right there. You're going to look over your right shoulder. Try to get a little stretch in there. Oh, I'm really tight. So what I'm doing actually is I'm thinking of my shoulder blade. I'm trying to pull my shoulder blade away from my spine. I use my leg to do that. Switch. Legs together. And then reach, cross over to the knee. Push that arm into the knee. You're going to look over your other shoulder. I try to go further. 
Lift up your spine a little higher. Good. And back to center. Awesome. Remember we didn't stretch this side. Let's get our side stretch in there. For now, you can just bring this knee to that position. Stretch up your left arm. Let's go over to our right side and hold. We can do our arm circles. I apologize. So we're gonna circle and over. If you want to extend your leg, you can. You know, whatever you feel like. Ooh. And circle and over. And one. And stretch. 